Bank clerk Stanley Ipkiss is transformed into a manic superhero when he wears a mysterious mask. This is the mask. The Mask is a 1994 American superhero comedy film directed by Chuck Russell and produced by Bob Engelman from a screenplay by Mike Werb and a story by Michael Fallon and Mark Verhidden, loosely based on the comics published by Dark Horse Comics. The first installment in the Mask franchise, it stars Jim Carrey in the title role, Peter Regert, Peter Green, Amy Yazbek, Richard Genie, and Cameron Diaz in her film debut. Carrie plays Stanley Ipkiss, a hapless everyday bank clerk who finds a magical wooden green mask that transforms him into the mask, a green-faced troublemaker with the ability to cartoonishly alter himself and his surroundings at will. He starts using these powers to fight crime, only to become targeted by Dorian Tyrell, a gangster who desires to overthrow his superior. Did you know? Chuck Russell revealed that a lot of money was saved on special effects after Jim Carrey was cast. Carrey's body movements were so flexible and cartoonish, they didn't see the need to enhance them digitally. The oversized teeth on the mask character were originally to be used only during silent scenes. However, Jim Carrey learned to talk with them on to make his character that much more wacky. The banana yellow suit that Jim Carrey wears is based on a suit which his mother made for him for his first attempt at stand-up comedy. The part when Stanley is being chased by the gangsters and pulls the wet condom out of his pocket and says, sorry wrong pocket, was improvised by Carrey. Prior to Cameron Diaz landing the role of Tina Carlyle, the producers had originally suggested Anna Nicole Smith for the role. Ultimately the decision was reversed when they found Cameron Diaz while leaving a modeling agency. Based on a Dark Horse comic book series of the same name, which frequently comprised very dark horror stories on how the mask would murder people with cartoon antics. Chuck Russell has said that the movie script started off in that tone before being transformed as a vehicle for Jim Carrey's unique comedy. As befits Stanley's obsession with cartoons, the mask acts like various cartoon characters, most notably the Tasmanian Devil, traveling as a tornado, Pepe Le Pew, romancing Tina in the park, Bugs Bunny, dying in the gangster's arms, and Tex Avery's wolf, seeing Tina in the nightclub. See you later.